Famous Armenian oppositional politician Vaga Avitian reports about the pressure he has been facing by Armenian authorities in diaspora after his interview to CBC. At his words, he is exposed to blackmail and threats to curse into silence even in Sweden, where he is a political immigrant because of criticism of Armenian leadership. Vaga Avitian began to receive blackmails and threats since 2015, when his condolences to the people of Azerbaijan with the anniversary of Hojala genocide and critics of occupational policy of Armenian authorities caused indignations in Yerevan. However, the peak of Avitian's persecution was reached after his numerous interviews to CBC, being blackmailed now with his juvenile daughter. Remove this article and you will see your daughter. Do not write it and you won't be deprived of your rights. That's what I hear. I have a continuous panic about my daughter. I received thousands of letters from Armenia with threats to kill me, my children. However, the letter addressed to CBC through social network and designed by Irina Avitian, the political emigrant's ex-spouse, reads that Avitian's daughter, Astrid, is safe and nobody and nothing threatens her life and health. Irina Avitian said that she was doing and would be doing everything to protect her from any potential threat. According to Vage Avitian, he was allowed to see his daughter just recently. He confirmed that his four-year-old daughter, Astrid, is in Stockholm together with her mother. Vage Avitian yet doesn't wish to speak about threats from Armenian intelligence services, although stating that he still receives them. Malcontent's opinion about his homeland and the Armenian authorities has not changed. Vaga Avitian openly declares that he would further inform public about the deplorable situation where Armenian people for many years have been driven into as a result of policy pursued by the Armenian authorities.